Hi there, my name is Mark Giannini and uh, we're here live at Basadarte's kitchen to uh, show you a few recipes. Actually, uh, one recipe in particular since uh, we'll be Easter shortly, um, I'm going to prepare for you lamb chops, l'agnello, lamb chops scottaditi. Very simple recipe, uh, it would be for my grandmother was alive, you know, and this is just something I look forward to every Easter to eat. And now that I have the restaurant, I pass it on to the rest of the public, you know, and I hope you enjoy it. So if you don't want to take the steps to uh, prepare this at your own home, feel free to call us on uh, Easter Sunday. We're open from 12 noon to 6 p.m. and uh, we will have the lamb chops for you. We're going to make lamb chops cotaditi, which are herb marinated lamb chops simply grilled, served with a little bit of sautéed rapini, um, some roasted red potato, a little bit of mint julienne, and a balsamic reduction. So very simple, very clean cooking, um, and let's get started. My favorite lamb is the one that doesn't taste like lamb. I like a little bit of gaminess, but not too much. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And what I like to do is this baby lamb, out, uh, since they're you know baby lamb chops, we're going to cut them into um, racks of two. So let's do that. And then what I'll be doing is I'm going to put this in a salt water brine to release all that blood that has the gayness. Put a little kosher salt, a nice generous portion of kosher salt, and plenty of water. So now the lamb will sit in the cold water with the salt and um, after about an hour, what I'll do is I'll change the water again and just add some fresh water with no salt. Um, then after that, after another hour, uh, we'll be ready for marination. Now that the lamb has been brining for two hours, um, it's now time to drain it. So we're going to put it in the sink here, get all this nice lamb and we kind of uh, removed a lot of the, the blood. that the lamb is completely dry uh, before we marinate it. When I marinate the lamb, I love to use fresh herbs, but if you don't have fresh herbs at home, you can use dry herbs. Fresh rosemary and fresh parsley. Um, I will use a little bit of dried oregano. And then um, salt, uh, black pepper. Please use kosher salt, coarse grounds. Nice. Um, and then of course garlic, olive oil, and uh, lemon juice. So lemon juice is kind of tricky because if you use too much lemon, it can actually cook the meat while it's marinated. You don't want to do that. You just want enough lemon juice to um, get that nice zesty flavor. Mint julienne. Simple. Just grab some fresh mint. This will just go on top again. And we're just going to take all this mint and then put on the time. You can just brush it all up and make the julienne this way. And then I'll do this. Get just to go right on top of that beautiful lamb we're going to cook. So now that my lamb is uh, dried off a bit, I'm going to into my marination bowl. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add my fresh herbs here, the uh, rosemary and uh, parsley. Composer. So I would have used fresh oregano, but I don't have any on hand today, so I'm going to use dried oregano. It's a uh, nice dry Greek oregano. The Greeks have the best oregano. Uh, pepper, of course. Salt. And uh, what good would an Italian restaurant be without plenty of garlic? That's G A R L I C. A little bit of olive oil. And then with the lemon, I'm going to slice up a lemon. 
half a lemon. Um, this is two racks, so I would say a half a lemon per two racks. Okay. Squeeze that in, just throw it right in. And then just going to give it a quick stir. You want to have the lab make love to this beautiful marinade I have here. So here's my finished product for um, for now. I've uh, put plastic wrap over the marinated lamb, and this is going to sit in the refrigerator for at least four hours. You want at least four hours, that way it gets a nice flavor of the marinade that I made. And uh, afterwards, we're just going to throw them on the grill. I'm going to show you how to grill those as well. And uh, let's get back to um, get back to work here. All right, it's exactly four hours later, and uh, this lamb is ready to get cooked and uh, obviously uh, lamb I would say my chef recommendation would be medium temperature 130 degrees um, 130 135 degrees for medium uh, you can also eat this medium rare it's really up to you I like my lamb medium uh, any more than that, it's just a waste of this beautiful uh, creature. So let's throw this on the grill. Um, nice sizzle on there. Two minutes on each side. You got to keep in mind they are double cut, so they might take a little bit longer to cook than if they were single cut. And uh, let's check on our lamb. Ooh, it's looking good. The problem with me is like, I love to cook, but I have to stop in between because I get so hungry. Everything I cook, you know what they say, never trust a skinny chef. If he's skinny, he's lying. No joke. Our beautiful lamb is ready. Put those down. Grab nice two. Three, or one, two. Oh my God, it smells so good. Three, then we're gonna hit it up with a little bit of a balsamic reduction. garnish with a lemon. And there you have it. Lamb chop scottadito. L'agnello scottadito, folks. Find it here at Pasta d'Arte Easter Sunday. Uh, we're open from 12 to 6 p.m. Please, uh, if you need any catering, we're going to be uh, kicking off our quarter tray menu that will feed uh, groups of five to seven as opposed to the half trays, which feed a bit more. And uh, due to the social distancing, we, we understand we're going to uh, create some quarter trays for you. So please have your orders in by uh, Good Friday, uh, by the night set, by 9 p.m. Good Friday. Thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope you learned something and now it's time for me to eat. Thank you so much.